of show coverage, business in motion, building global connections is all happening here at GBTA 2014. And today was full of inspiration from the convention arena all the way to the annual meeting. And I sit at GBTA and GBTA board because I love it. Because I am passionate about the industry and what we can do. Re-elected allied member at large director Eric Norberg shared that inspirational acceptance speech. Next to take the mic was executive director and COO Michael McCormick. He presented the goals, mission, and annual report for GBTA. A couple of great things happening with the association is that membership has doubled in the last five years record-breaking attendance at this year's meeting with nearly 7,000 attendees and growing, and over 80 education sessions were conducted, which is the most ever in GBTA history. One of the hot topics featured in those sessions was leading with emotional intelligence. Sigal Barsade gave a comprehensive presentation on how emotional intelligence is a critical management skill for successful interpersonal relations, productivity at work, and creating a positive cognitive culture. The things you need to think about are how to read, to, how, first how to know yourself, self-awareness is the foundation. Then second, how do you read other people and express your own emotions? And then last, how do you regulate your emotions so that you can be in the best situation possible? Game changer Uber made a big announcement today. The transportation network company is now offering Uber for business, as well as a partnership with Concur and several other companies. The new platform allows for central billing, team management, and increased transparency. Uber is the safest ride on the road. We're really proud of um, the platform and what it has done to enable consumers to have more choices and for also for local entrepreneurs to have a flexible new small business of their own. And we think that choice is a beautiful thing. Global Challenge Panel session discussed the challenges and solutions facing today's TMCs on the global scale. The panelists spoke on how localized technology products such as open booking, reporting and expense management are built to scale for a global economy and are the optimum solution for premier level user experience. There are several other ways global TMCs can make clients happy. So it's not a one solution fits for everybody, but more how can we customize? And it is all about the traveler experience. So everything we do is, um, is certainly validated here by what people were saying. And that's why we're successful in different regions. Our philosophy is that, that you do need the local knowledge. Um, so we always work with people that are, that are uh, savvy to uh, the the complexities and the uniqueness of each individual market, each individual country. Keeping with the convention theme of business in motion, CEO of Concur, frankly, Steve yeah, Singh, spoke about his view of where the future of the business travel industry is going. What's his idea of the perfect trip? Singh says it should be simple. The perfect trip is a vision that's got It's a North Star. It's a vision that everyone can advance and that everyone can own. Whether you're a business traveler, a corporate customer, a technology company, a TMC, airline, hotelier, cargo provider. So what is your idea of the perfect trip? Being able to get that end-to-end -end user um, you know, capabilities and being able to um, get that information right when you want it, being able to check in right when you want it, being able to um, book with your preferred hotel. I'm a road warrior and I'm constantly on the road, so for me it really is a seamless existence on the road. My perfect trip is when all suppliers uh, deliver quality, on-time service, and they all come together to make me feel important. Oh my gosh, we're like Seinfeld? Seinfeld's awesome. That is Biz Stone, the co-founder and co-inventor of Twitter's reaction to the people who doubted Twitter's longevity in the beginning. Stone shared stories of his journey to success inside Convention Arena and reminded attendees that if you help others, you ultimately help yourself. But his aha moment of finding happiness in his work came to him in the form of one single tweet. I realized I was laughing at something that was, I was having joy from something that I built. 
and I, I, like in one second, I, I, I realized that the reason the other company didn't work out was because I never had what I came to realize later was an emotional investment in that work. I didn't love that work. The expo floor shows not only the latest innovations in the travel industry, but real business relationships at work. It's wonderful to be able to interact and meet everyone and, uh, and catch up with old friends and meet new people. And uh, it's a very productive uh, event for us. And, uh, we look forward to, to coming in next year. And it's been great. It's really important for me to meet with my hotels and my airlines, and uh, this gives me the opportunity to do that. There's a lot of people in the US that I don't get a chance to meet being in Canada, so I can come along, meet everybody here, and it's been fantastic. Everything's in one trade show floor. I get to see what the other buyers are doing in their programs, get an information session, get actionable information from that, and then within a matter of hours, be able to meet with the uh, sellers. With all of this incredible travel technology, networking and business meetings, we wanted to know what was your favorite part of GBTA 2014? It's just bigger and better than ever before. I think it's a function of quality rather than quantity. And I can tell you that the conversations that are going on are really important. Networking with everyone. Yeah, just developing new contacts and seeing old people and just reconnecting. Having the opportunity to be here, to have a forum like GBTA, to actually connect with decision makers for large corporations and actually have an opportunity for us to cut some deals. GBTA is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Exactly. You won't want to miss actor, director, writer, and stand-up comedian Jason Alexander who will close out this year's GBTA from the convention arena. And be sure to mark your calendars right now for GBTA 2015. It's going to be in Orlando, Florida, July 25th through the 29th. You won't want to miss the business travel event of the year. We are on board and in flight, ready to head to Orlando next year. But GBTA 2014 has been a huge success. I hope you've enjoyed all of our live coverage. I'm Rachel Kopchak with GBTA Live.